Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to discuss scoped and namespace routing and difference between them. These are also ways to define routes in Rails. This is very common and general topic which is expected to be answered by a Rails developer. So, if you are an experienced Rails developer, you must have better idea about this and if you are a fresher or beginner Rails developer, this will be an interest, interesting topic for you to understand. Definitely, you must have idea about scope and namespace routing overall. So let's start with the namespace routing first. So let me open my routes file here. So you can see that I have used, let me remove this scope. Okay. So now you can see that I have this uh, namespace routing where I use namespace admin and I defined some resources uh, there. So what does it mean and why we need that? So namespace routing is used when you want to organize your controllers under a specific namespace or a group of controllers into a namespace. Okay, for example, you might group a number of administrative controller and admin namespace and place this controller inside app controllers and admin directory. So you can see that I have created here namespace admin and now let me open my controllers directory. So you can see that I also have a admin directory inside the app controllers and there I have defined these controllers. So let me open this categories controller. So you can see that uh, categories controller have the namespace admin and categories controller. Okay. And same is dashboard controller, same is questions controller, students controller and users controller. So this is called namespacing of the controllers. Okay. So the, not the first thing that whenever you have uh, define a namespace then you must uh, organize your controller inside a module or inside a namespace in the app controllers directory. Now when you have this namespace your routes will be different. This namespace admin will be added as a prefix to your routes. So let me show you some example. Let's clear the console. Now, uh, let's open the route for user or students, rails, routes, students. So you can see here that I have my student resource inside the admin namespace and when I uh, try to see the routes for students, you can see that this admin namespace will be added as a prefix inside this uh, for the students route you can see and this admin uh, prefix is added in both for the rails path as well and for the url paths as well like here slash admin and here admin underscore students for get and post and new admin student edit admin and admin student so you can see that this is for url path slash admin slash students and this is where your controller is organized like admin students and index section of that controller and create action of that controller and so on. So now this is the namespace routing and there is one more alternative for this namespace routing for if you want to remove this uh, admin prefix from your uh, routes. Okay, so you can simply use it like a scope module now if you use the scope module then this admin prefix will be removed from your routes but uh, you still need this controller because you we are uh, mapping this as a module so you still need this uh, uh, directory inside the app controllers and your uh, routes must be uh, and your controller must have this namespace as prefix or this module name as prefix let me show you Clear the console, run the same command. Rails route, 
and uh, let's uh, grab the routes for students so you can see that now you will not see the admin prefix uh, in both rails paths as well and uh, students uh, url paths as well so admin is admin prefix has been removed but your controllers are still mapped into the or still arranged into the admin directory inside the app controllers and then your controller and their actions so this this scope module will only remove the admin prefix or whatever the name is space uh, you are providing here uh, will remove that prefix from routes but you still need that directory or you can use this syntax just like this as well like you can simply pass it as a string uh, if you do not want to use the symbol okay let's run this this will still work the same now this is for the namespace routing now let's come to the scope routing what we see in the namespace routing that when we have namespace routing we need a namespace uh, directory whatever our namespace name is we need the same directory inside our app controllers and we need to organize our our namespace controller in that particular group or in that particular name is for directory name but if you want to display that name is space only inside the urls but you don't want to uh, create any uh, further directory or you don't want to uh, prefix your controllers like this like uh, admin colon colon and then categories controller if you uh, want admin into the url but you want to use uh, categories controller as it is without this name is for example this one if you just need uh, the controller like this and want to remove the admin name space or whatever your name space name is you can use scope routing and with scope routing you can do it like this either this string format or you can use the name space uh, sorry symbol format as well so now when let's clear the console so now when you uh, grab the routes for students you will see it like you can see that uh, the admin prefix path is uh, admin prefix is not in the rails path helpers like you uh, you will still mention students path without any admin prefix but in url you will see admin students and now here you can see that your controller will not map uh, will not coming from the app controllers and admin directory it is only coming from app controllers so uh, this prefix is only added to the url path not to the controller and rails path okay so this is the scope routing okay let me change it to the name space again so uh, here I think uh, we have understand the definition and differences between namespace and scoped routing. Now, when you appearing inside uh, inside the interview for for a Rails developer, and you might ask the question like uh, when you should use namespace routing. In that case, you must say that whenever you have to group your controller within some namespace, you must use namespace routing. The most common example for namespace routing are the admin namespace and the API namespaces. When you have to implement an API into a Rails application, unless this is an API only application, you should define your namespace routes like this. For example, we are creating namespace for the API. Namespace API do B1 do and here you can define your resources. Sorry. So this is how you can define API for the namespaces. So here 
you have more clear idea about uh, using namespaces for the api because namespace help in managing the versions of apis and controllers for example if you are create you have created uh, an api with version 1 but uh, with some changes you have to version your increase the version of your api or you have to change the version of your api then you can simply define another version in this uh, uh, api like namespace v2 so you can uh, manage your version controls or for the apis and you can also manage your controllers for that for example uh, this admin consider the line number 15 that here we have admin namespace and we have defined these resources but if you want to display some uh, students into a different namespace for example let's say teachers and their students so you can create like uh, name space teachers to resources students so you can also do like this so in that uh, case you can separate your controllers uh, within different namespaces and you and serve that uh, related functionality which is required in any for any particular purpose so i hope this will be a valuable information about uh, namespace and uh, scope routing and you enjoyed it and learn from it i will also share the link for learning routes in detail into the description of the video please check that as well yeah just one more thing and not one more thing it's a kind of request that uh, i'm sure uh, there is a lot of chance of improvement in the content delivery uh, but I just uh, wanted to request you that please let me know your feedbacks so I can refine it and will make improvements over the time. Thanks for watching this video and let's meet into the next lecture. Till then, tata, bye bye.